Welcome everybody. Really excited to give you all a bit of a walkthrough on our new Flexcode connectors and the changes uh, that you'll find inside of the Ascend product stack that hopefully will make your life in ingesting data and starting to work with it a lot easier. To get started with this, a few things that you'll notice as you log into your Ascend uh, interface is a slightly different layout here under build. One thing we've done is we've combined uh, both the build uh, for creating components and the browse tabs. Uh, and you'll see these are both now combined underneath the build tab, which makes it a little bit easier to get to all the things that you really want to go work with when you're actively constructing uh, new extensions to your data flows. The next thing that you'll notice is that we've taken a lot of the existing uh, legacy connectors and we've moved them underneath the legacy read connector button here. Uh, if you're still trying to create some of your connectors that you have before, go ahead and use the, uh, this. But we would encourage everybody to really spend uh, a bunch of time on these new read connectors. Now, when I click on this, you'll see a new interface pop up. And this is pretty exciting as first you'll notice that we have a lot of new connection types uh, that you can use. Uh, everything from uh, your standard uh, object stores like S3 and Google Cloud Storage and Azure Blob Store, but also uh, we've opened up a lot of warehouses like Snowflake and Redshift and BigQuery. And then even uh, more interesting, uh, or I'd say more non-standard uh, things like connecting to a, a Hive server, your Salesforce data, or even Google spreadsheets. So we'll walk through a bunch of these uh, types uh, as we go through some of this demo. Uh, but you'll see where we're really going to spend a, a fair bit of our time here is some of these existing connections that we've already created. For example, here, I already have an existing S3 connection, Azure Blob Store connection uh, with different uh, authorization settings that we can go through, uh, as well as a bunch of different Postgres and MySQL and Oracle connections. All of these are active, wired up to live systems uh, that we use throughout our own uh, uh, systems inside of Ascend. And I'll show you a few of these as we go through. But let's say that we want to go and create uh, a connector. And let's start with a, a pretty simple use case here. Uh, we want to connect to S3. We already have an existing S3 connection, so I don't have to go and create a new one. I can simply reuse that ex existing S3 connection. Uh, so here you can see there's a, a bit of information about it. It defaults to an Ascend.io sample data bucket. Uh, and I want to just go and use that connection itself. And using that connection, uh, I can now specify a particular connector. Now, the difference between a connector and a connection is a connection is, for example, hooks into your database, or in this case, your S3 uh, deployment. A connector reads a subset of that data. For example, uh, a table out of your database or a particular path inside of your S3 uh, bucket. Now, uh, for those of you who have used the Ascend uh, interface before, uh, you'll notice that uh, we asked for a bunch of information here, like, hey, what uh, pattern should we be looking for for files? Uh, is there a particular uh, pattern or prefix? Uh, what sort of parser, what bucket, uh, and so on? Where should we find all of this data? As well as, of course, uh, ask you to specify your schema. Now, one of the things that you'll notice as part of these new flex code connections is the fact that uh, we have the ability to browse your connection. Now, this becomes a really elegant and easy way of finding new data uh, that you have access to without having to go hop out of the Ascend platform and fish around in other tools to figure out where your data is. So here we're actually directly listing uh, paths inside of that S3 bucket uh, to go find particular pieces of data. And let me go grab some yellow cab data here. Uh, this is part of the New York City taxi cab uh, public data set that we can go work with. Uh, and I'll pick some parquet files and let me actually grab uh, a particular data set. Let's go for 2019, and I'm interested in the data from January of that month. It's probably pretty cold and, and rainy in New York, so I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of taxi cabs uh, rides taken then. Now, one of the things you'll notice here is tied to this connection browser is we now auto fill in the information for you. I didn't have to go in and specify the bucket name or the pattern or the prefix. Uh, the connection browser just simply gives us all that information, autofills that for us, and you'll see it actually autofilled in here. Now, all I need to do is pick a particular file format uh, since uh, I know it's Parquet uh, and ask Ascend to automatically generate a schema for me. Here again, I don't have to go through and analyze all that data or put in any of the, the particular fields itself. I can modify it after Ascend's uh, schema analysis finishes, uh, but for now, we'll actually just 
be able to take what Ascend uh, suggests for us, especially since it's coming out of a parquet file in this uh, particular circumstance. So we know that the, the typing is pretty strong there. So here you'll see that uh, we have all the relevant uh, schema uh, already provided in with a ton of uh, preview data as well. So lots of columns in this one. Uh, we don't have to worry about refreshing this data set for the time being. Uh, and then all I have to do to finish creating my uh, connector is we're going to call this Sean super duper connector two, uh, because I am guessing I already have created one like that and we don't want a naming collision. So now when I create this connector, uh, I now have Sean super duper connector uh, two, which again is not to be confused with Sean super duper uh, connector one. Um, so that's the first part of it. Now, without having to write any code, I was able to reuse an existing S3 connection that I had already uh, configured, use that connection browser to navigate all of the data I have access to, pick the particular piece of data that I was really interested in, uh, and uh, create a connector that is now going to automatically ingest all of that data for me. Now, if we go back to some of our connections, uh, however, let's actually go through the process of creating a new connection. Now, creating a new connection uh, can be pretty easy uh, and fun, but let's pick something that's fairly non-standard. I assume like most people who are watching um, this, uh, this demo, you've connected to a lot of big data systems, you've connected to lakes, you've connected to warehouses, but ironically, one of the things that we get a lot of requests for are, can I connect to uh, my other non-big data systems like Salesforce or surprisingly enough, Google Sheets. Uh, it is shocking how many people want to pull data from Google Sheets uh, and don't want to have to go and write the Python code or the Java code over and over and over again to actually ingest that data. So let's go create a new Google Sheets connector. Um, let's call this my simple Google Sheets connector or connection. Uh, and of course, we're going to need some re uh, credentials to read that. Uh, we do already happen to have some really nice uh, credentials in our uh, environment already uh, that is designed for Google Sheets. So I can simply reuse those credentials. I don't have to in, uh, create and insert new ones. Uh, and part of the great part about the Ascend Flexcode connectors is that we allow you uh, to even test these connections uh, before you try and start creating uh, the individual connectors. So I test my connection, it works, it can read data, uh, and now I can create that connection. With that connection, I can now do the same thing I did with, uh, with S3, uh, and I can browse the data that I have access to. And you'll see here, I have access to a particular spreadsheet uh, inside of, uh, uh, inside of uh, my Google Sheets account, and I have multiple sheets I can uh, read here. Let me pick sheet number two. That sounds fantastic. Uh, I'm going to ingest that, and just like S3, you'll see all of that information that is very specific to the connection type itself gets auto-filled in for me. Uh, I can go and generate a schema uh, for that, uh, and at the same time, uh, my Google Sheets connection, uh, or connector, uh, and I have my schema. I can see some of my data in there. Uh, and similarly, I can go and create this and you'll see just like S3, just like navigating Salesforce, just like all the other systems I've interacted with, uh, I now have access uh, to my Google Sheets uh, data, just like I have access to my S3 data. Uh, and very similarly, similarly, how I have access to all of my other uh, data sets across clouds, across environments and across uh, tech stacks. So with that, this is the new Ascend Flexcode connectors uh, and hopefully a really powerful new experience that helps you get your data in faster and helps you start building uh, more exciting data flows faster than ever before. Thanks so much everybody for watching.